everyone, it's Caitlin Cahill, The Geek You Need. And today we're going to show you how to do an all-over print hoodie, like this one on Printful, with a design that lines up nicely with the pockets. Um, or maybe the hood or sleeves or whatever you want to line up. But I'm going to focus on the pockets today. I'm going to be using Photoshop um, because the feature I'm using that is really key to this tutorial are smart objects. Uh, now I'll be honest, I'm not familiar with enough of the other graphic design programs like Affinity to know if they have smart objects, but if they do, this technique should work in those as well. But today I'm going to be using Photoshop. So to begin with, I do want to start with the official design template from Printful. So on all of Printful's product pages, if you scroll down to the section that says File Guidelines, you can get the file print template right from the page. So I'm going to click that. So now my file has downloaded, so I'm going to open the zip file. So now within the unzipped folder, they have a template folder that has multiple different template files for you. They have them both in PNG file, which is a flat image, as well as the Photoshop file. So I'm working Photoshop, so I'm going to using the Photoshop file. So to begin with, because I'm working on making a design that lines up the front pocket on the front, I'm going to start my design within the front template within the Photoshop document. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one. And then I'm also going to open up the front pocket while I'm in here. I'm going to go back to that folder. I'm going to also open up that pocket template. So now I have both. So I'm going to start in the front template because I do all my designing in the front one and then I apply it to the pocket template. So to begin with, I'm going to go to the layer that says place your artwork here. For the sake of showing you the technique of lining up your design, I'm just going to do a really simple rainbow um, just so you can see how the stripes line up with the pocket. So to begin with, I'm going to add some guides. I'm going to do a new guide layout. We want seven columns with no gutter. And then I'm just going to fill each one with a rainbow color. So now you can see this portion is where that front pocket is going to be. So I have several stripes within this pocket here. So anything within this dotted line here is safe to print because the sizes will vary. And so you want to make sure to keep any graphics within here. But this is exactly what we need for now. So I'm actually going to save this as it is, even with the printful a graphic on it right now. And you'll see why in a second. And then I'm going to go over here to my front pocket template. And in this template, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the place your artwork here layer, and then I'm going to go to file, place linked, because what I want to do is I want to place that hoodie design that I just made. So I'm going to go back and find that front template and place it. Now the key here is that you want to make sure that it's at 100%. And the reason for that is you want the size of the image that you made for the front to be the same as the it is on the pocket. So we go ahead and hit enter on that. So now if I turn off the guide, you can see this is where the pocket lines up on the front of my design. And the small one is the safe print area within this hoodie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the move tool to line up the top of those two safe print areas. Or excuse me. So I'm going to line up the safe print area. You can see this is the design of the front. I need to line it up with this print, the top of the print template here. There we go. And 
And just so I can show you how it lines up, let's do a horizontal bar on the front design. So I'm just real quick going to add an element, horizontal stripe here. Now if I save any changes to my front template, it's going to update it on the hoodie. So I can see that's working there. So now what I want to do is I'm ready to upload it. Um, obviously I'd want to go and do my sleeves and my back and all of that. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to show you how to get the front pocket to line up with the front. So we're just going to do the front and the pocket right now. So I'm going to turn off my guidelines and I'm going to save that as a PNG file. Let me go to the front, turn off the guide. I have to save that file. In order for your smart object to update on your pocket, you have to save your front image. So I saved it, so now it's updated. So now I can export this one. So now if I go back to Printful and I go to the mock-up generator, go find that all over print hoodie. Upload both the front and the pocket file. Now, and usually you'd be uploading all your files at once, but we're just going to do these two for now. So I have my front, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that for the front. And then I'm going to go to the pocket, choose that pocket file for my pocket. So now if I go to mock-up view, you'll see that the two images should align pretty well. So now you can see, now I found the mock-up to be pretty accurate. So on here you can see that the pockets, so the vertical stripes are lining up nicely, so that did well. Um, but what's a little bit off is how horizontal it is. So what I need to do is on my pocket file in Photoshop, I need to move that smart object up just a little bit. So let's go back to Photoshop. So here I am in my front pocket template. I'm going to turn the guides back on. So now remember, we have to move this up just a little bit. Now I just did it about 50 pixels. There's about 100 pixels. So let's save that and see how it goes. Now the next thing is once you have your placement in, all you have to do is reuse that same printful template and then you can just, you don't have to do the adjustments every time. So I'm going to turn off the guides and I'm going to resave this one. So now if I go back to my pocket, I'm going to delete the one that's in there and I'm going to upload the new pocket. So now if I go back to the mock-up view, oops, see we did a little bit too much, so probably 50 would have been enough. So let's go back to Photoshop, nudge that down, back down a little bit, save it again.
And there we go, looks pretty slick. So if you look on the model, it's pretty lined up there. It looks, now because it's a 3D model, some of it's gonna be a little bit off, but you can see it does line up actually really well. So if we go to the flat version, it's still a little, so we moved it down a little too far. So you wanna rely on this flat version, not the 3D version. So let's go back and do it just a little bit up. Did it 30 up that time. I promise you it's worth it um, to do kind of this tweaking the first time around. Makes it easier going forward. There we go, that looks pretty lined up. Both vertically, the stripes are nicely lined up and horizontally. Um, like I said, if you go by the flat mock-up, it's pretty accurate, you know, do some, obviously since it's handmade, there'll be some variation, um, but you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, and so now that I have these Photoshop files, now that this is a smart object that connects to this front template here, all I need to do is design on this front template and then this one will automatically update with the correct pocket placement so i no longer need to move the design up and down now i know that this is the correct placement i need so i can go back to this front template i can delete what's in there let's add a new design And then now when I save this Photoshop file, my front pocket template will automatically update. So all I have to do is make sure to turn off the guides on both of them when I save. And now I have both the front pocket and the front of my hoodie ready to go. Just add some sleeves in the back and you have yourself a hoodie. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if there's any other videos you'd like to see. Thanks and have a great day.